our chest supported high incline alternating row, yes it is a mouthful, is a strength move for our mid and upper back. We're gonna want a high incline for this, so if you have a Reebok bench, it's gonna be set on setting number two. If you do not have a Reebok bench, you have a normal bench at your gym or at home, you're gonna to want to set just above 45 degrees for this exercise. This is similar to a normal bent over alternating row or a normal chest supported alternating row, except for a little bit higher incline, which is gonna put a little more focus on the upper mid back and a little more focus on our rear delts and our traps for this exercise. So we're gonna set those dumbbells down on the floor next to the bench. We're gonna hinge on over resting the chest against that bench for the movement. We're gonna grab our two weights. And then one at a time, we're gonna pull that elbow up nice and high, squeezing the shoulder blades, and then control it all the way back down. Once it's back down at the bottom here, we're gonna switch and pull the other side up and squeeze and then again, control it back down, alternating back and forth. Most common mistakes made on this one, there are a few that are the same as our normal chest supported high incline row where we do both together. And that being, we wanna focus on keeping the chest against the bench throughout that entire movement. We wanna focus on not rocking back and kind of swinging to get those weights up. If we find ourselves doing that, they are too heavy. We need to drop down in weights. And also we wanna avoid curling with those wrists involving the forearms and the biceps. So remember, those wrists are just staying relaxed and down at our sides as we focus on bringing those elbows up nice and high one by one. Other thing to remember that is not the same as when we're doing both together is that we wanna to try to avoid the rotation in the torso. It's gonna to be easy to kind of rotate to the right as you pull up with the left and then rotate over as you go back and forth. We want to avoid that. We want to focus on keeping nice and square with the torso against that bench throughout that entire movement and simply make that upper back do all of that work as we alternate those weights coming up. Remember for this one, it's, since it's a normal alternating row here, palms are facing the body, elbows staying in nice and close as opposed to if it's a wide row to where the elbows are flared out and those palms are facing behind us. So start off with a little lighter weight than you would normally do for this exercise when we do both together, since it's a little tougher doing one at a time. And then as you get more comfortable and build up strength, you can start to progress up from there.